It's Mark Wiens. I am in Udon Thani, uh, which is in the very northern part of the Isan region of Thailand, probably just about an hour away from Laos. And I am at a restaurant called Udon Miang Glapau. This restaurant specializes in extremely fresh fish. So as soon as we ordered, he took it out of the water uh, and then and then um, he stuffed it, took out the guts, stuffed it with lemongrass and a pandan leaf, uh, and then coated it in salt, and then stuck a big stick down its mouth, and then put it on the grill. And I think they grill for about 15 minutes. Uh, but one of the really cool things that, that the, the grill, um, the guy grilling told me is that they, they take the stick and then they take the stick out, and he can tell if the fish is done or not by how wet the stick is. Hey, so my cup. All right, so this restaurant serves a Thai dish called Miang Pla Pao. And Miang is the, the word for wrapping things in leaves. And then Pla Pao is a roasted fish. But actually, I have two different kinds of fish. One is a Pla Pao, a normal Pla Pao, uh, which is the just grilled. And then the other is a giant deep fried uh, fish. So, they're, so that one is called Miang Pla Thot. And the first step is to just grab, I'm gonna grab some lettuce and also some, uh, some mint as well as some dill. Oh, fresh dill is one of the greatest things ever. Some fresh dill. And then I'm gonna dip into this juicy, oh, it looks so juicy. That looks beautiful, look at that, look at that meat. And then stick it into the middle of that lettuce. There is just this beautiful platter of other ingredients as well, and you can kind of just pick and choose whatever you want. Unfortunately, my piece of lettuce definitely will not fit that all everything which I would like it to, but I'm gonna add some, some onions or some shallots. Um, this is some ginger. Some ginger. I'm gonna add in some uh, raw garlic some peanuts and lemongrass. Oh no, this might be maximizing my space. And then I'm gonna go in with a, a chili as well. And then move over to the sauce station. There's four different sauces that they're serving here, which is a beautiful thing, but I'm just gonna go with the normal um, sauce, which is a garlic chili sauce first. And just apply. Oh, that's, that is wonderful. Okay, and then you just sort of just just wrap it however you can, and then just eat. Mmm, that is delicious. Oh wow. Oh, that fish is so fresh and so flaky. Amazing, it's firm. It's juicy, and then all those added ingredients are just incredible. I got the garlic, the ginger, the shallot, a little piece of lemongrass, and then that sauce is just like a salty, lime-based garlic, garlic sauce. Amazing. And then that bite of dill as well. I have a lot of favorite Thai dishes, but Miang Pa Pao is something I could eat every day because it's so healthy and just so fresh and so delicious. Okay, next I'm gonna go for the, um, the wild beetle leaf. And I'll add in some cilantro. Oh, and they also have Vietnamese coriander. So I'll just throw all that in. Wonderful. And then, actually, it might be easier to add some of the ingredients to the leaf before the fish. But really, it's up to you how you wanna do it. This is some, uh, some raw green banana. And then lemongrass and peanuts you cannot miss. And then garlic, oh, every bite has to have some garlic in it. Another chili. And I think this might max out this leaf. I'm not sure what this sauce is, but it smells a little bit like uh, pala, which is uh, the fermented fish sauce. Uh, I'm gonna go in with some of this. 
more like a spread than a sauce. That's beautiful. I got so many herbs in this bite. And I just love the, the wild beetle leaves. They have such a green, earthy, peppery flavor to them. And then that sauce is definitely like a bala. Um, like, I'm not sure what, it, what it's all mixed with, but it's a thickened uh, bala, which is the fermented fish sauce, which gives it a, a beautiful saltiness as well. Mm. Or it's popular to eat with kanom jin which are the rice vermicelli noodles. I'm gonna put some of this down as a base first. A little bit of kanum jin, and then ginger, and then all the usual goodies. So part of the, definitely part of the fun of eating niang is mixing all of these goodies. All right, and this time I'm gonna try the, the miang flat hod which is the, the fried fish. So I'm gonna take a huge nugget of fried fish. Oh, yes. I'm going in for the, the normal sauce again, the chili and garlic. This one is just stunning. Okay, and wrap this up. Oh man, I missed some of the herbs in this one. I'll have to chase it instead. The same thing, but just crispy and yeah, very, very crispy. That just goes extremely well. The kanam jin are nice and soft. The, the vegetables are fresh. I love that raw garlic. The raw uh, ginger, that's insanely good. I'm gonna add a bit more sauce to this bite. That is stunning. That was an absolutely wonderful meal. Both of the fish were delicious, both the grilled fish and the fried fish. Actually, they were equally amazing, but probably I would normally uh, make, eat the order the grilled fish. I love the garlic and ginger, the lemongrass, the sauce, and then all the herbs and the vegetables that go with it. It's amazing. Uh, and then this, this restaurant is just a great uh, relaxing restaurant, sitting in little bamboo little huts. Uh, a nice breeze, it's cool, it's shady, just a superb feasting, fish feasting environment here. So if you come to Udon Tani, this is a restaurant you should come check out for Bla Pao, Miang Bla Pao.